we almost did not get off. Uh, we, we had the flight plan that we were going to land, and then there was a sleep period after. So we, when we got there, we decided, yeah, we could do that. We'll, we'll go outside first, and then we'll have the sleep period. So we went outside, we come back in again, and uh, we take the backpack off, pressurized, then we open up the hatch again on the uh, oxygen supply of the spacesuit, open up the hatch, throw the backpacks over to save weight. Then we uh, close the hatch, pressurized again. Now we get ready to sleep. So I said to Neil, I take dibs on the floor. <laughs> there was only one flat place in that thing and it was the floor. <clears throat> so I laid down on the floor with my head to the right, which is the co-pilot side, and I'm looking around in the dust that came in, and there's this little black object. Didn't look like it belonged there. It looked cockroach. a little closer. No cockroach. This was <laughs> <clears throat> not even a white mouse. <clears throat> This was a circuit breaker that was broken. Huh? Oh, yeah. That could be good news, you know? <laughs> the lights in the cabin and jettison parachutes. No, you had the purse. Uh, so I looked at the row of circuit breakers, and it says engine arm. Wow. That's the one in the lander. You get in, it's out. A lot of other circuit breakers, you don't want everything armed. <clears throat> so when you get ready to land, you push that thing in, the descent engine lights, you get on the surface of the moon, you pull that out. Well, if you want to come home, you got to push that thing in again. But it's broken off. Now, there's a big panel there, and there's no way that we had the screw and good screwdriver to take that thing off. We didn't know what the hell we could possibly do. So we missed the greatest line that uh, Lovell had later on. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> we knew that they had to come up with a solution to this. <clears throat> and they knew that too, so they said, uh, well, we got some guys down here. We're going to look into the situation of what we can do. Of course, if it hadn't gone in, we uh, wouldn't have lifted off. We'd have been up there in the moon. So guess what these guys in mission control said? Pick it up and put it back in. <laughs> we're, we're going to work at this down, down here. So you guys up there. Just go to sleep. <laughs> right. That makes sense. I, I sort of looked at Neil to see what reaction he would get. He's pretty cool. He didn't uh, seem to react to that, and I just stored that away for <clears throat> future reference. <clears throat> so we get up in the morning, and, uh, and they say, uh, for a mission control, we couldn't find any way to get around that circuit breaker. So instead of pushing that in at about 10 seconds prior, uh, as the computer's counting it out, we want you to try and push it in two hours ahead. Okay. So I look, what can I use? I look at my little finger and there's there's electricity behind there. I'm not sure <laughs> that that's going to work. So and we had a ballpoint pen, uh, but that's metal. And that's not maybe so good. But I had gotten a felt tip pen so I could read the writings on the rendezvous charts. So I used the felt tip pen two hours before. Hey, we got circuit. We got power. 
<laughs> so we were coming pretty close to not, not being enough. able to come home. Yeah.